teenager who liked reading, telling jokes, playing video games, and visiting Walt Disney World. A freshman with a free spirit with a chill attitude. A great dad and dedicated coach who loved the game of football. And a patient and caring math teacher. This morning, we are learning more about those victims of the latest school shooting here in the U.S. We're also learning more about the 14-year-old boy accused in that shooting. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Kodorobles here in studio with the latest on this, Mark. Yeah, Rachel, John, good morning. You mentioned the two students killed. We saw their photos there. Both were 14 years old, the same age as the suspect. Authorities in Georgia now working to sort out the shooter's motive, and it begins with several red flags that they had investigated over a year ago. At the time, the FBI not was notified about the then 13-year-old in connection to posting a school shooting threat online showing photos of guns. The local sheriff's department took over. They contacted the boy. The boy's father told authorities the weapons in their home were hunting guns and that his son did not have unsupervised access to them. The boy also denied making threats. At that time, no further action was taken. The FBI now confirming that same boy that was contacted last year is the suspect in yesterday's shooting. This morning, we are hearing from students who survived. Then I hear the gunshots. And then everyone ducks behind the desk, and the teacher is like flipping tables and stuff and barricading the door. So I was just scared out of my mind. I was scared I was going to die, to be honest. And when I heard hard lockdown, I knew it wasn't a drill. Well, authorities confirming the 14 year old who was armed uh, with an assault riot, assault rifle type weapon, excuse me. He reportedly gave up immediately once the police arrived and was taken into custody. We have also been told that the teen will be tried as an adult. Again, the four people were killed, including two students, uh, nine others taken to hospitals with injuries, but those people all expected to survive. A lot still developing. We will keep you posted when any new information comes in. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.